All right, so I have a poster out on constructor template argument deduction best practice, and one thing you may notice is it's the biggest poster in the thing, and it has the smallest text of the, all the posters in the thing. So I want to give you a little roadmap to the poster and the key ideas, because even though there's a lot here, this is a really simple and important feature in C++17 that we think is going to have a lot of impact. So um, the elevator pitch is in C++14, whenever you create an argument from a class template, you have to give the template parameters, like those examples on top, and it's really, really painful, even if they can be deduced from the constructor argument. So if I'm creating a lock guard, I have to know, is this a shared mutex? Is it a shared time mutex? Is it a unique, unique lock, a shared lock? Um, you name it, and I don't care. I'm just creating a critical section in my code. And not only don't I care, it's brittle. My code breaks if somebody changes um, changes that. So in C++17, if I want to create a vector from an initializer list, it knows what type it is. If I want to do a lock guard from a lock, it's there, right? So this was um, one of Anthony Williams' first slides, was how you do locking C++17. So since people create objects from class templates all the time, we think this will be a high-impact, simple feature. Um, unfortunately, no C++ feature is simple enough that it does not require best practices. So we, before calling it complete, we wanted a set of best practices. Um, one other thing I sh should say is, let's try, say I'm trying to create a vector from two iterators. The compiler isn't going to know how to do that from the constructor because it doesn't know that you're supposed to create a vector of the value types of the iterators. So we allow you to specify a deduction rule, which is the rule here. The stuff is all on the poster to say if you're given two iterators, create a vector of the iterator's value type from them, so this all works. So we have some simple best practices that everyone should know, like um, when should you use the feature? What's use, what's abuse? Can I get rid of all factory functions? Well, not so fast. Some factory functions do funky stuff, right? Like make tuple unwraps reference wrappers. And using a factory function, can help inform people that this factory function does some of its own processing. So only use template argument deduction for constructors when that's really all you're doing, and then not having the factory function gets rid of visual noise and makes it clear to the user that there's nothing funky going on. But if there is, use a factory function. So make tuple stays. Another thing that's a little bit tricky is when you call a function template, you always do it with parentheses, but when you construct, there may be braces. So the result is we have to decide what to do then. So if I construct brace initialize a vector from a vector, am I constructing a vector of vectors or I'm copying? And the answer is you're copying because you can always explicitly um, specify you want to go with an initializer list, and then it'll create a vector from a vector. But if I'm just copying, I want the principle of least surprise. Um, one other thing worth mentioning is in your classes, Constructors can have parameter packs in the middle, but function templates can only have parameter packs at the end. And since we're creating function templates from class templates, that creates an impedance mismatch. The other, so the thing to do 
is in your classes when you create constructors, if you have a parameter pack, put it at the end. So this five minutes I'm over, I'm done. Okay, so there's a lot more stuff on these slides. I hope this whet your appetite. And I encourage you to go and look at the poster or call me directly. Thank you very much.